All right, everyone, significant figure back on the Mars mat this time, ready to go into deck number seven for our series. Uh, we just used Wisperia, and Wisperia was a was a, a mighty fine deck. Um, a lot of good things about it, but um, one of the reasons for these videos is allowing me to open this box in a slow manner forcing me to play everything so I give everything a fair shot and a decent look and not just ripping through the whole thing at one time because frankly uh, opening decks is a lot of fun and I like to do it and I will continue to do it as long as there are decks available um, <laughs> so this is just if you wanted to say this whole series is just a way of me uh, controlling my habit then um, yeah then so be it um, so yeah, we're gonna see what we get in this one. I don't even know what I'm really looking for in Mass Mutation anymore. It's just that the set is so fun and you always, I think I'm just, I'm in it for the chase. We have Dis, Saurian, and Sanctum. Davenport of Arceria. All right, so this Saurian Sanctum. Saurian Sanctum combination in Mass Mutation is very capture heavy. Um, the disc can be uh, still very much a control house. So um, I expect this deck to have a lot of those control elements, but will lack the efficiency power of logos, so. Let's start off and see what we got here. We're gonna start off with this, and we have a bone saw. With all the destroyed effects, bone saw is a, a, a pretty useful card in mass mutation. We have a dark minion. We have a bobble, dominator bobble. Very nice first turn card. Double bobble. Implosion, nice card. Mark of disc with a damage pip. Double mark of dis, excellent. A stirring grave, interesting. We have we don't have that many disc creatures. Waking nightmare again, interesting without a lot of disc creatures around. Picaroon, um, I'm not big on Picaroon. Whale of the damned and red hot armor. Um, it can be good. Not my favorite card, but I don't have a lot of decks with Red Hot Armor in it. Um, so there's a couple problems. <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I mean, Waking Nightmare is only really going to be effective for... Uh, like, you know, it's a one-turn stall. But um, we do have... Uh, six pips in the deck and two bobbles. So this is not going to be the board control deck. It's going to be the deck where we are taking care of, of something on the board with an implosion, um, a red hot armor, which could be a, nearly a board clear in some ways, or we're just delaying our opponent or controlling them into another house with mark of this. So um, not bad. Our first Sanctum card is an Ardent Hero. No, uh, no complaints for me. Um, Bulwark. Bulwark and Baldrick the Bull that we've seen have been very good together. So we have two Bulwarks. Three Bulwarks. Wow. Each of them all enhanced too. Interesting. Burning Glare. Another Burning Glare. Ooh, uh, so we have a Cleansing Wave. Um, with all the fightiness of this so far, that cleansing wave is is quite good. Um, in this, we also had the dark minion, so being able to dark minion and cleansing wave after is also very very bursty. So that's that's cool. Fangs of Gizelheart, uh, great for your big huge guys. Um, Smite, Amberheart. 
Baldrick the Bold. Good deal. Good deal. And a free market's another bursty uh, card for Sanctum. Okay, so no rare, no no rare card. Um, but we have it's the four power show here. Um, this battle line would be very strong. You give Baldrick the Bold, Amberheart, Smite, Cleansing Wave. And being able to disrupt their boards with Burning Glare. Um, that's a pretty strong Sanctum House in my opinion. Um, I haven't seen the Commandeer card in a while. <laughs> just out of nowhere. It just really hasn't been... It hasn't been around much. So I, I would foresee this deck wanting to call Sanctum uh, quite often. And Asarian, we have an Axiom of Grisk. Um, Axiom of Grisk is going to be good because so far our creature count is pretty low. We have uh, three, four, five, I mean, we have six creatures so far with a Cleansing Wave, Free Markets, and then Axiom. And, and so these capture, these capture pips uh, will be helpful to keep our guys um, safe from this axiom also the the amber heart can help with that too i think a second axiom would be good nope we don't get it we get a council primus we have a curse of vanity um this is nice with the axiom and all the fighting this deck wants to do so another one it's good synergy there defense initiative uh Good at good with warding our um, our sanctum guys. Faust the Great. Okay, so this is very good synergy with our uh, sanctum capture stuff. So we're gonna get the keys costing more. Galia tops, not interested. Blast from the past. So a friendly creature. Archive a Saurian creature from your discard pile. DTMG goes about okay. I can totally see us. Discarding Gale Tops for Blast from the Past. Library of Polyosaurus. This is very good. Imperial Road. Um, so far, uh, Faust the Greats were the only one Imperial Road would work really well with. Two of them. Sorry about that. Destroy a creature, its controller gains one. Um, nice little destroyed card. This deck's interesting, for sure. Um, it is. It feels very low creature count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is eleven creatures in a mass mutation deck. Um, for pips, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It has eleven amber pips in it, so pretty low on the amber pips as well. Um, this deck is putting a lot of faith in the creatures that it has and disrupting the other side of the board, I think. Um, so yeah, that's Davenport of Asaria and um, I'm more excited to play this one than others. So we'll be getting it out there and see how she does. So um, happy Halloween everyone and hope the rest of 2020 is as adventurous and exciting as the rest of it will be so or has been excuse me so signing significant figure signing off and everyone have a safe and happy holiday